Peace Drums got started about seven years ago when a group of clergy in Wilmington, Delaware, rabbis, ministers, priests, imams, decided to put a program together that was an investment in peace in the Middle East rather than divestment. And they approached me, I had an idea that was flying around for a while to do a youth steel band made up of Muslim, Christian, and Jewish students. I started playing steel drums about 1990. I'm a lifelong career percussionist and music educator. After about four years of playing the instrument, I really wanted to get into the idea of playing steel band music, not just one or two players. I decided to try a band at the University of Delaware where I teach. And I put a band together and I was amazed at how quickly musicians and non-musicians could come together and learn music on steel pan and it quickly became evident to me that it was the ultimate tool for music education. After this group in Wilmington decided that they wanted to get drums from Trinidad to the United States, box them up, put them on a plane, take them to Israel. Once that was established that that's what we were going to do, we took the drums to uh, an Arab village called Iblin. There we worked with some 11 and 12 year old kids both Arab and Jewish, Christian, Muslim. We started teaching them music right away. Within two years, they had come to the U.S. to do a tour. And a couple of years after that, I decided that I really needed to have a strong music educator that knew Pan, that was very literate in music, and had a great spirit for teaching. And that brought me to my graduate student at the time, Brielle Scott, who was from Trinidad, who's a lifelong Pan player. Well, the steel drum from Trinidad is an instrument that doesn't belong to either the Arab or Jewish culture in Israel. It doesn't belong to a Christian culture, it doesn't belong to a Muslim culture. It's an instrument that was born out of conflict about 70 years ago in Trinidad and Tobago, and they love playing it, and they love the sound, and they love the fact that it's an instrument from Trinidad and Tobago, and at some point we're going to take the kids there and show them the, the, the land of Pan. Well, this is their third international tour. Their first tour from Israel was to the U.S. in 2016. Last October, we went to Vienna to help celebrate the 500th anniversary of the Lutheran Church. We got to perform in the most important concert hall in Europe called the Music Verein. And this year, we were helping the Leo Beck Educational Institute in Haifa to celebrate their 80th anniversary. And last week we were in Mannheim, tonight we just finished a concert in London, and tomorrow we'll go to Zurich. We have a fantastic truck driver who's moving the drums all around Europe for us so that we arrive in a new city, the drums are there, we unbox them, we rehearse, and then we play a concert, we put them back in the cases, they go back on the truck, and the whole thing is repeated again. Music is the ultimate nonverbal communication art form and they have to play together, they have to work together, they have to look at one another as band members, and for sure, at this point in their lives, they do. They don't look at one another as Christian or Arab or Jewish or Muslim or Israeli, or they look at one another as a band member. When they're touring, and when we do these tours, we always bring the message of peace drums that these students are, are playing together, and when they do get together, and they do perform and they do talk to people, they bring the message to the people that they are interacting as friends and bandmates. Each of their religious affiliations get to experience the other's religious affiliations. Well, the Future Peace Drums is really about growing the band. So we have three bands. We have senior high school kids, junior high school kids, elementary school kids. The more communities in Israel and Arab Jewish that get together, the better. 
So that's really the hope of it. And that takes funding and it takes, it takes getting the band out there and it takes getting people aware of Peace Drum.